Hey, welcome back Design Squad. Welcome to another Tuesday and a new design tool or method I wanna share with you this week. If you're new to this, Design Tool Tuesday is basically where I share some great methods, tools, plugins, free resources or paid resources, which I just share with, let's say, my junior designers or peers or community like yourselves, for example. And so today I'm gonna to share with you a billboard design thinking templates which are done by my fellow design thinker, Microsoft UX architect, Sean McGuire, which I interviewed just the other day. So you can go back into my channel and preview the full podcast or video cast, so to speak, which where we just sat down one evening and we talked everything design thinking for an hour. I also have a snapshots of every bit, but Sean talked about his approach to design thinking, how he runs it in a billboard method where he has a massive scroll and he combines the templates to guide the sessions to allow people to understand that, okay, they commit to this specific segment, let's say at the time, and they need to extract the knowledge, they need to get to consensus, they need to ideate and come up with ideas for UX strategy. And naturally what he said in the interview is that he would use these templates depending on exactly what issue he had, you know, has to tackle. He would agree, let's say, with his product champion or people involved who own the project, who, who need those answers, exactly which activities are most appropriate. So imagine that, let's say, I have all these sessions and I'm probably gonna start with problem matrix and project plan because that's what you kind of would want to define first and foremost to understand exactly what could be you know, what are we actually trying to address? Maybe define the personas and stakeholders as well. So that's my scroll beginning, maybe for day one or something of my workshops. And then I could also do an ecosystem map mapping separately, or I could attach it to, let's say, to the persona because I want to know exactly what we are going through. So perhaps that could be the next segment. Lastly, I could go straight into ideations if I know enough but it also feels like you would want some research done beforehand to capture that. And as you can see, I'm just expanding. It's a massive scroll right now. I think I would maybe need just one of the ideation ones and maybe then going into features and sketching it out. And boom, I assembled a big billboard out of a template from Sean. And as you can see, it now provides me a framework to run a workshop. So I have, let's say, maybe day one, day two, day three, and I can decide exactly what they want to achieve. So maybe just for my own sake, I would say that this is day one. Imagine for the sake of example, these are my three days of workshops, and I'm going to use just one scroll to run the, you know, the workshop users, the people who actually wants to solve their issues with design thinking uh, through it. And so start off with, you know, one of this is a basic one, like a problem matrix. I don't use it exactly the same. I do usually a bit differently. I might ask them to ideate and put down all of it instead and then put it on specific slot, which, you know, what makes most sense. So for example, if an issue occurs just sometimes, you know, and it's a high cost, you usually just put it there and then kind of prioritizing that way and guiding people to actually decide exactly which of these should we target and take forward or maybe it's multiple ones then billboard design thinking has this project planning so maybe this is you know all the other aspects of peripherals around the project who is a stakeholder if there are any key blockers maybe there are kpis you want to achieve from business perspective you can draw those bits out of the people just using this framework then defining, you know, high level, let's say user groups or personas, maybe there's previous research done, you can draw some sort of bits, maybe you need to define the context and it could be quite high level because at this point you are defining a strategy, you're trying to gauge the opportunities, let's say, or it could be very specific if you have enough evidence. So again, it's very up to you how you want to drive it, I guess. And then value proposition, what's unique about it, maybe mapping the ecosystem of how the users are going through existing customer journeys, where two improvements could be done, uh, agreeing on those bits, identifying risks, opportunities, idea improvements. So it guides the users through those linear steps, but at least we know exactly what's required of them and where they are in the journey until they can say, okay, now we're done and we have great ideas. And so we would go through research, ideations again, marking those ideas and then maybe in the end sketching out the solutions on a high level and then finishing up with the next steps of what could be done in a design thinking workshop. But this is an awesome framework and I think 
The only thing what I personally find a bit limiting is finding a printer who could print all of it in one go and it's, it tends to be quite expensive usually you can expense it or use your work printers but you know you end up with a big scroll and as sean calls it on a positive side it ends up like a gift because then you can give it to a project team project manager product champion whatever you call it your sponsor who wants this done as a hey this is the evidence that we did these three days and this is how many themes we came up with maybe play it back to them maybe synthesize it a bit more maybe you know give them a prototype types, sketches, stuff like that. It's almost like you give tangible outcomes and that's most important bits. That's why I use, let's say, templates, which I print out and do physical stuff instead of just, I don't know, whiteboarding and, and, and you know, brushing it off or using digital means. I use the physical stuff because people just attach themselves to it much easier. It's easier to convey the message and guide them. And that's the most important bit. If you want to download these templates or know how Sean is running his workshops, just go to LinkedIn into Billboard Design Thinking Method. Uh, just search and you're going to find a group which you can join. And Sean, as you can see, saying, hey, here's my last version of Billboard Design T Templates, PowerPoint version, print it out, use it. As he says, get rich and, and just make the good design happen and good design thinking sessions. That's his, I think, mission, maybe goal. And so you can join and discuss these bits of other design thinkers, but their options and that's the best bit. And I love that people who are experienced in it have decades of experience running these things actually share and contribute. That's what I'm trying to as well do. And so I have my own set of templates too online, which I shared back in the day in one of the design tool Tuesdays, I'm going to leave a link down below so you can download them as well. They're not billboard method. But in a essence, you could also print them out in a continuous slot as you need. So you can disassemble, assemble different bits, edit as much as you can, hack it, do whatever you want with them, as long as you know it's actually helpful for you and you can run better workshops because that's the goal. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this framework makes sense and you can actually get some at least ideas of how you could use it if you like this video give a like subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so join the billboard design group and until next time